Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of a Diane Pension. Today we are to take on the role of the feds as we clean up the town by taking out the criminal trash as we play door kickers. Hooray! It's an oldie but it's a goodie door kickers. I think door kickers came out in 2014. So it's only taken me four years to get around to playing this. It's been in my Steam library for ages. I think I might have picked it up last year in 2017's Steam sale. And it's been sat there. So I thought, do you know what? After a year of it sitting there being idle, maybe I should actually play this. Because it is very well received and it looks like a lot of fun. So it's a real-time strategy game that you can pause. You have a squad of these guys. You know, the, whatever they are. The riot police, SWAT team, whatever they are. And you control them. And you can pause it. You issue them commands. You tell them which way to look. And whether they're flashbangs and all that kind of stuff. And you deal with the situation. So it it might be just take out some bad guys, it might be defuse a bomb, it might be rescue a hostage, all that kind of stuff. So I've been playing it a little bit, I've been playing it a little bit just to get used to it, and even from just doing a few of the single missions, just doing a few of those repeatedly just to get used to the controls, I've managed to get my squad up to level 3, which is jolly exciting. So before we go in and do more single missions, which I think is what we're going to do in this particular video, let's go and take a look at our squad of cops. And here they are. So the squad has got 10 people in. However, I think only the first two have really been used in the missions that I've done so far. So they each have a name. That's absolutely fine. I've not changed that. They do have a call sign though. And I've changed the call signs of our squad to make them slightly more exciting than the ones that they were previously. So let me introduce you to the squad. So the first two guys are sort of prime A team of squad members, you know, the super cops. Uh, this is Fishcake and this is Badger. So Fishcake and Badger are the, uh, you know, the, the, the top the top bods. Uh, the other people that will surely get a look in eventually at some point in these missions. Uh, this is Pimple, Gubbins, Ham Sandwich, Dongle, Wibble, Toothbrush, Armpit, and Sprocket Donkey. So, uh, you know, that's the crack team of, of uh, cops that we're going to be playing as. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves four stars here. When you do missions, uh, they're graded out of three stars. And then the more you acquire, you can then unlock things. So as you can see, if I go down to our utility pouch here, I could spend five stars. I've got five, but if I did have five, I could unlock a stinger or I could excitingly unlock a taser, which is jolly exciting. You could unlock a lockpick machine at 10, which means you can then open the doors quietly, I assume, rather than having to kick doors down or whatever, which might give you the element of stealth. But the minute we've only got four stars, so we cannot actually do anything with them. However, we have got two of these doctrines, which are like perks, essentially, as far as I can tell. So we've got two of these because I've just been playing it. I think I've done the same first two missions about four times each. So I've not really done much. I've just sort of played the same levels over and over again just to get the hang of the controls and stuff, which I still have not fully got the hang of. So this could be fun. But yeah, we've got these doctrine points to spend. So um, let's have a look, shall we? What's this do? Increases aiming speed at close range. Okay, so they use natural body mechanics. Okay, fine, whatever. Increases shooting precision. That might be worth taking. And what's that? Faster handgun deployment. But that leads on to all these things here. So what's that? Targets at close range are engaged with a quick pair of sighted shots. Ooh. I'm going to have that. Increases precision at all ranges. That seems like a very obvious choice to take. And what's that? The team drills on shooting their handguns at long range. Yeah. Well, that makes perfect sense. So we can get people at whatever range. So they're a bit sharper at shooting people at whatever range. And at long range, if they're using a handgun, they can get people as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll have those two, please. That's lovely. And then when do we get this? Unlock the Assaulter class first. Oh, I don't know how we do all that. So, single missions. All I've been doing then is these two. So, I've got two stars in the first mission, two stars in this mission. So, let's go to this mission. Let's go to the mock-up apartment. Why not? Let's have a look. So, the objective, kill all the terrorists. Nice and straightforward. Tangos. There are four orange people. They're not actually orange people. They're just people. I don't know why they're called tangos. Is that what the, the police terminology is for someone who needs to be killed to death? A tango? I don't know. Anyway, so four people are in this apartment somewhere. We need to go and find them. Let's go and have a look. And that's it. This is the apartment. This is the screen we are working on. It's you know a fairly simple premise. So uh, yeah, these are test things, I think. It's got live fire area. So I think these are sort of test things. But we'll have a go. So there could be someone around here. Our guys are down here. So what we can do is we can say we want him to go past that door and have a look around this corner. But we don't just want him to sort of blindly walk past the door. There could be a guy stood there with a gun going, hello, I'm going to shoot you if you walk past the door. So we want to make sure that he is looking. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've moved him. Don't do not do that. Oh, dear me. Right. Hang on. You want to make sure he's looking that way. So he will then look that way and he will strafe past the door, hopefully. And then... 
we want him to then look that way uh, if he goes round that corner. And then we want him to move a little bit more, like so. This guy here can just stay still. So Badger is not doing anything. Badger can wait. Fishcake can go and check out if anybody is round this corner. So now if we unpause time, he will do those commands. Oh, right. Okay. So they know that we're here. And we've seen there's a guy there and a guy up there. We've hit that one guy. There's a guy just here that I don't think did anything to us. I don't think we got hit. No. So Fishcake remained un, un sort of damaged, which is lovely. Right. Fishcake, come back along here. Um, I don't know if that will put you in sight of him. Yeah. So if we go to here and then Badger... You come into here. Everyone just move into nice positions. Right, good. There we go. So now we know there's a guy up here. He's hiding behind a chair. There's also a guy who was up there. He presumably is not still going to be standing there going, Hey, come and shoot me a bit more, guys. He, I guess he's ran into a room. So now you... We want you to face that way. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, no. Don't do that. How do I cancel the commands? How do I cancel your commands? You are just running around like a lunatic. Uh, right click to delete that. Yeah, let's oh, hang on what right click to change delete action. Oh there delete waypoint Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> That's just stupid So we want you to look that way and we want you to look that way as well So just face to the right as we go round this corner I Don't want to be in sort of sight of there. So yeah, it'd be good if we could come round here So if you come in like that and you come in like that we can take out the guy behind the chair because we know he's there So he's in a bit of cover However, he's gone. Oh, 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 right. There was someone behind us that I completely failed to observe. <laughs> okay, fine. I think we're still okay. Fishcake is quite badly injured. Badger, however, is fine. So now we need to find the other guys. One guy's surely got to be up there. So, how about you look that way. Come up here, like so. And then, let's get him to throw a flashbang into there. Why not? And then, once he's done that, he can then move round that way and see if he can go in and deal with whoever's in there. There might not be anybody in there, but if there is someone in there, we'll get them. Because they'll be blinded, hopefully, by the flashbang. Meanwhile, Badger. Do you want to go in and support? Yes, I think that might be the best idea. So, Badger, keep looking. In fact, Badger, look that way while we're going up here. You walk up this way. And then you just wait until he's thrown his flashbang. Oh, there's a person. Oh, right. He's dead. He's gone. Right. Lob the flashbang in. Bang. Right. And now you can then come in. Let's have you looking up in case they're up that way. So you run into there like so. So is there anybody in this particular room? No, I don't think there's anybody in here. Because if there was someone in this corner, they would have shot at us. So we know that they're not in this bit. Probably not up there. I bet they're in here. I bet they're hiding behind the sofa. Okay, so let's get Badger in because Fishcake is hurt. So let's get Badger to come in. Uh, we want you to look that way. Strafe like that to there. And then let's get you to then lob your flashbang into there. And then after you've lobbed a flashbang, we then want you to carry on moving into here. Like that. So let's do that. So hopefully the person is in here. I suspect he's going to be behind that thing, behind the chair. So he'll do that. No, they're not in here. Okay. Right. So they could be in one of a few areas. Let's just check they're not in that corner. No, okay. They could be in here, in this little shower area, or they could be in this bedroom area. Okay. So we need to find out where they are. Okay. Come, you look that way. Look that way and walk around like that. And that'll get them if they're in this room. So they're in this bedroom. Right, they're not in this bedroom. So we know, we know that our fourth person is here. They are hiding in this little sort of shower area. Unless they're really small and they're cowering in this little bit here. Which is unlikely. So, we should be okay. Let's bring you in. Bring you up here like that. You might as well both go in and do shooting. Alright, so pause time. You look downwards. You look downwards also. And then you go... Uh, to there you go to there right hang on and that there can we then do a can we wait for you to go so let's wait for the go alert so you can do little sort of go things to tell them to actually wait get hold in position and then they go when you press the button which is a lot of fun so we'll wait there and then you can go out like that and then you on that particular thing you can wait for the a thing and then you can go that way as well 
Okay, so now let's move time on. So they go there, they wait for Alpha, we press Alpha, we go around the corner. Where is our fourth person? Where's the fourth person? <laughs> they must be in there. They must be in there. I just did a very, very beautiful surgical maneuver, like a tactical strike just there, and they're not even there. Um, okay, are they in that corner of the bedroom? There's not many places left for them to be hiding, is there? Okay, right, control and look upwards. Just have a look to see if they're in that corner. Right, move that. Are they in that corner? Oh, they are. Okay, right, they were in that corner, <laughs> which I just didn't spot. And there we go. So that mission is done. We have eliminated the hostiles in perhaps not quite an elegant, as an elegant way as it could have been, but never mind. Um, 40 seconds it took in the time that they're actually moving. It obviously took longer with me pausing it and talking nonsense. Uh, 25 seconds to beat that. Okay, that's quite hard, but we got another two stars. We got two stars, and that is lovely. Okay, now let's continue. So this is kicking the door. Now, this is the first door that I've had to kick in. In a game called Door Kickers, I've not actually kicked a door in yet. So let's see how this goes. We've got four people to uh, obliterate, eliminate the terrorists. Let's have a look at what we've got. Now, there is a door just here. So drag a path through the door and choose entry method, it says. This is, this is very open. This is very open indeed, isn't it? Can I not have some sort of other, sort of uh, slightly more stealthy approach? Because there's just going to be four guys stood in there and we're going to be shot at by a lot of people. Okay, imagine they're all going to be inside. I don't imagine anyone's going to be lurking around the outside. So I've not done a door yet. So let's see how this works. So I want to... Ah, right, okay. So there's a thing there. What can we do? Right click on the door. We can either kick the door, use a spy camera, throw a flashbang or plant breaching charges. Oh, the spy camera looks like a lot of fun. Oh, let's get that in. Right, you uh, look that way just in case anybody is... Yeah, you know, the door has a window in or something. At least we can see what's going on. Right, so we'll have a look. Oh, and you, you're using the spy camera. Oh, that is brilliant. Right, pause time a sec. So there's a guy in the corner. Oh, this is tremendous. There's a guy in the corner. Three guys around the sofa. Two guys who have got shielding. So they've got cover, which is unfortunate. You in the corner will be annoying because we'll come in and you'll start picking sort of shots at us in the side whilst we're facing those three guys. Uh, can we look right around there as well? Okay, so we've got good visibility on what's going on in that room. We need to kick the door in, I think. And then we need to throw a couple of flashbangs. That would be ideal. Get a couple of flashbangs in. One up there, one down here. Run in, take him out, then turn around and get these guys. I mean, if we can get behind cover as well, that would be useful. Okay, so let's change that. We know what we're doing now. Well, vaguely. So, right. You kick the door. Just do that. Meanwhile, you... Yes, you're just going to have to do that. And bang. Right, okay. The door is kicked. You have visibility of him. Can you shoot him? That would be really useful if you could kill him. In the meantime, you get a flashbang in. If you can get a flashbang just there, that would be really good. So you're going to shoot at him probably. Yes, right. One guy is down already. He's going to lob a flashbang. Flashbang. Boom. You. you. Oh, no. Don't hold. That's not a good thing. You go that way and run round that corner to there. You can take out the guy in the corner. In the meantime, you run in. Look that way and then run round to here and hide under that cover there. Uh, is there a thing for take cover? Uh, no, there's not. But that's fine. So we should be okay. So yeah, you, let's see if that works. Right, you run in. You can pick those guys off. Right, and I think, is that done? Good job. Oh, that was beautiful. That actually looked like I knew what I was doing. That actually looked like I knew what I was doing. Uh, six seconds. Six seconds to complete that level is the time to beat. Really? Wowee. Okay, but there we go. So we're getting XP. This is good. Um, hang on, if we go to, go to back, how much XP do we need to actually go up and get another one of these doctrine things? Um, oh, not many. Not many at all. Maybe next time out or possibly another couple of levels, we might go up a bit. Okay, so how many of these are there? Oh my goodness, there are many. Hang on, let's have an actual look. How many are there? 84 levels. 84. And one, we've done four. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's work our way through then. So what's this one as well? The little thing in the corner. The, this must mean kill everybody. So this is a go through and kill everybody kind of mission. Uh, this must be hostages. We could go and do one of those. We could go and do a few different things. That looks like hostages. What's that? That is a bomb defusal training. Oh, that looks fun. We'll have a go at that as well. 
That is, what's that? These are just hostages. That is a hostage with a gun to his head hostage. Oh dear. That's not very good, is it? And the rest of just sort of kill people type missions. Oh, that's lock someone up in Luigi's Diner. Okay, right. Uh, let's have a go at this one then. Let's just do Mozart Street Apartment. There are th three Tango's regular ones. And there's two with question marks on them. Why have they got question marks? So we know there's three, but there might be five. Is that what that's telling me? I don't know. The challenges use only one trooper. No, because that's just silly. Challenge, complete mission without pausing in real time. No, challenge, use a single plan to complete the mission. Oh, really? Really? A single plan? So right at the start, you'd have to plan out the entire movement path of one of the or two of your people. No, that, that way madness lies. I can't do that. I'm not that good. <laughs> right, okay. Pause. Oh, it's a lovely apartment. It's a nice apartment. Little kitchen area. Little sort of living area. An office. Very lovely. Uh, is that outside? Is that outside? That looks like a sort of sunbed of some description. Uh, that, that could be outside. That's very... That can't be outside because that looks very open. Okay, right. What do we want to do? I think we get the thing in. The spy camera thing. Because that was really useful. That was great. There we go. So poke that under. Let's have a little look around. What have we got? So we've got one hostile having a little watch of the telly. One is sat over there in this little sort of outside bit, I assume. Junkie Harry. <laughs> oh, they've all got names. Oh, they're all called Junkie Harry. That must make it very hard when you're trying to talk to the, each other, Mr. Terrorists. Uh, coming around this way. Okay, so we can only see two of them. We've only got visibility of two. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to deal with that. So, let's get rid of that. Let's kick the door open. Meanwhile, bring you round looking that way. So you can come here. You can kick the door open. This is fine. So you're strafing. Right, there you go. You've got that. You will probably shoot him, I imagine. Oh, 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 oh. I should possibly have moved him out of the way. He's a bit injured. Fishcake is a little bit injured. He's fine. Fishcake is made of very stern stuff. And also delicious cuts of cod. So we've got him down. We know there's a guy in there. There's got to be a guy in here. I imagine there's going to be someone in here. So... Let's get you to come into here. So you need to look that way as you strafe round this corner. So strafe round here and take that out. So take out that person. In the meantime, you look that way and just go through and sort of stand here and provide a bit of supporting sort of cover. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. Okay. Lovely. So, oh, Badger is quite badly injured. So we've got two injured people, but... Three of their guys are down. Three of their guys are down. There are potentially two more because there was question marks on two of them. They've, got, they've had pizza. Can we have that pizza? Does that give us our health back? Because that's how video games work. You eat some food and you immediately become healthy again. Right. Is there anybody in the kitchen? I imagine there's going to be someone in this bedroom area. Where the other person is, we're not entirely sure. So you look that way and then come along here. And then you, maybe, yeah, you're quite badly injured. You're quite badly injured. You just come down here. Let's just see what, he's got a machine gun. This guy has a machine gun of some description. Right, Badger, look that way. Look that way, Badger. Right, okay. Okay, we know he's in there. However, we are covered by the wall. Okay, fish cake. Can you throw a flashbang into, say, there? That's a very good shot. That's a ve If you can get that round there without hitting either of those two walls, that is a very narrow angle. I will be very impressed, Fishcake. That will be a good throw. And then, after you've done that, you then need to move in. In fact, we'll do that. Then we'll get you facing that way. And then you can move into there, say. And then face up that way. Meanwhile, you, Badger... If there's someone in here, though, they're going to shoot at us. So Badger might need to look this way and go there. And then just sort of take out whoever is in that room. If there is somebody in that room, I don't know. Right. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here, which is encouraging. So now Badger, come this way. Right, so face that way. And then go over here. Face downwards. Have a little look over there and then face up into that room just to get anybody that's in there. So let's go. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. Right, there's one guy in there. He's down. Are we done? Oh, yeah. 
No, we did a three-star thing. Oh, go us. Okay, that was good. I wonder what the time the time frame for that is. And given that we spent a few seconds of that time faffing about putting the little spy camera under the door, that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, we've unlocked a new class because we've got to squad level four. We've got an assaulter class. Now, I don't know what that does. Oh, has he got great big kind of machine guns? Oh, Okay, that could be useful, couldn't it? Someone with big shooty machine guns might be very advantageous indeed. All right, awesome. Okay, let's go back and have a look at what we do with the Assaulter class. We have a Doctrine to unlock. We've also got 11 roster points, which is quite nice. We can give you a better armor. But look, we now have Assaulter class so with long guns. Is that what they're called? Long guns. We've got a handgun, like a little pistol things, and then that's just a long gun, is it? Okay, so uh, either... Improved accuracy and recoil in cover or improved accuracy and aiming speed generically. That probably is the most appealing to take from the off or increases aiming speed at close range. OK, now I'm going to have this. Let's have improved accuracy and aiming speed just at sort of medium range because that's where these guys are surely going to be most use. So, yeah, we'll have that. Okay, so now we spent a doctrine point on a long gun thing. We want to then make sure that somebody actually is able to use a long gun. Um, so how do we change someone over? Ah, can we change Fishcake to be an Assaulter class? Oh, look at that. He gets himself an MP5A3 SMG. Wow, that is the best SMG. That certain number just there. That's good. Uh, okay, so we can have ourselves a point man. So Badger can be the point man. So he can go in on point. He's got the spy camera thingamabob. And then you, right, support gear. Can we get any better support gear? Because you both don't need a spy camera. You both don't need that. Uh, what's a dynamic hammer? What is that? This little fellow will take down most doors in one hit. <laughs> don't swing at people, though. Bolt cutters through padlocks or a breaching kit. Heavy backpack that gives access to both the dynamic hammer and the bolt cutter. Oh, I see. So that's got both of those in. But it does cost eight of our 11 points. I don't think we... I, yeah, I'm okay with that at the minute. Oh, no, I didn't want to come out of the thing, though. Um, can we give uh, Fishcake better armor? He's got low threat armor. Can we elevate that up any? Can we do anything with that? Also, better pistol might be quite nice. Um, is there a damage rating? Yeah, that, that might be quite nice as well. Hang on, hang on. Can we change his gun out to be a better gun? I don't know. This is the only thing that is the problem with this game. Now, there's people watching this going, yeah, I know about guns. I don't know anything about guns, really. Apart from you pick them up in games and then you shoot them. Um, so, yeah, all these things here are a little bit... I'm a bit bewildered by all of the things. So I'm just going to look at stats because I genuinely don't know what all of the other numbers mean. I've got 11 points. So I could get myself an M4 carbine, which I think... Uh, okay, let's, let's look at that as opposed to that. Ah, right, okay, okay, right, I see. So the thing down in the corner is telling me that it's got better stopping power, it's got better accuracy, however, it has a much slower fire rate than what I've got right now, a bit quicker reload speed, but it's less manoeuvrable. Okay, okay. Maybe I don't want to upgrade that at the minute either. Let's upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade his armour. That was always my sort of, that was my initial thought was, get his armour done. Ah, and if he's an assaulter, surely he should be wearing an assaulter vest. So the front armor is increased and the rear armor is increased that would make sense so let's do that let's unlock a salter vest and he can have that on now do i can i unlock that for everybody ah okay oh well, that makes sense then you might as well both wear that it seems a bit silly not to <laughs> it seems silly not to actually wear the armor that we've just got so you can wear the assault vest oh, i've only got one. Oh, hang on Hang on, can you both not wear the Assaulter Vest? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> You've only got one of them. Okay, you wear the Assaulter Vest. Uh, Fishcake has the low threat armor. Uh, and, uh, oh, no, hang on. I oh, know I'm flicking between the same person. I thought that was flicking between the different people. Oh, dearie me, that's just embarrassing. Right, you have an Assaulter Vest. And now Badger uh, also have an Assaulter Vest. There we go. They've both got Assaulter Vests on. <laughs> Oh dear. Pretend nobody ever saw that. You didn't see that. That's just embarrassing. 
Okay, I have come to do some hostage rescue training. We've moved away from the go and killy the terrorists in their houses levels. Because we've done that. We've killed a lot of terrorists in their little rooms, in their apartments or whatever. We've kind of got that down-ish, sort of. So I thought hostage rescue training was the next logical place to go. So hostage rescue objectives. Hostages must survive. Okay, yes, well the clue is in the name. Or be rescued. Yeah, the clue is even more in the name. That's fine. Optional. Eliminate all the terrorists. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? And uh, the intel is four orange tango men and one green hostage person. Okie dokie. The level looks fairly simple. Now, I don't know how to deal with hostages. I'm hoping, because it's a, a training level, some little prompts might appear on the screen and say, Yay, to rescue a hostage, click on them and put rescue hostage or something. So, if we resume, this is what we've got. Fairly simple, two-roomed affair. I think we get um, pim pimple. We're using pimple. Where's... Oh, it just... just Oh, have we swapped out our crew? Because Pimple doesn't normally start. Badger normally is Badger and Fishcake. Where's Fishcake? Okay, never mind. Right, let's get you to just there. Let's use the um, let's use the little spy camera thing. I do like the spy camera thing. I think it's tremendous. Oh, is it raining? It's raining. That's cool. Now there's a sneaky guy behind the door just there. I see you behind the door. I see you. Okay, you. Uh, you've got the pistol. You've got the pistol oh is it because we've ah maybe we're not allowed to have assaulters on these particular levels maybe we're not allowed so because fishcake became an assaulter with this giant big shooty gun we're not allowed to use that it's because they're, they're both just pistol guys look they're both just regular sort of pistol users okay well that's fine we'll deal with that that's fine so uh yeah you come out there it's pretty good to get you know pimple to have some actual uh have some actual uh stuff to do right badger go round here so you can go around there in the meantime, let's clear, uh, clear that. And then we want to kick the door in. So after you kick the door in, we then want you to face that. Oh, actually, yeah, go and kick the door in first. So you can stand there. He's going to kick the door in. You have seen him, so you should kill him first. Now, you face that way and just also move to just here next to your friend. And you should both be able to take pot shots. Beautiful. Right, now you both face that way. Come round this corner and you'll be able to pick out this guy. Because he's standing around the corner. Right. Splendid. Seven seconds. Two guys down. We have not taken a single scratch. Did they even get a shot? That guy might have got a shot at us possibly. But there we go. So two guys down. Now we need to go over to here. Right. Pimple. Do you... Th uh, oh, no. That's the wrong thing. Do the thing again with the door. This is really good. I like the spy camera thing. Uh, in the meantime, Badger... You just sort of come that way and just stand ready and then look through the door. Like that, just in case. So he's getting the spy camera thing ready. Right, pause time a second. It's a bit weird you can pause time, but you can still use your spy camera, but okay. So one guy there, one guy in the middle who's our hostage, and another guy in the corner. Right, that guy there has got a shotgun. Nameless thug. Oh, it's not a shotgun. It's a Mac 10 SMG auto slash 9mm. Good. I'm glad I know that information about the shooty gun. Right, down here, what are you? A revolver. Now, I know what that is. Junkie Harry has got a revolver. And you up there have got a machine gun. That's generally a bad thing, I would say. Having a machine gun is bad. Because, yeah, we don't want him to, to kill us. Because that would be disadvantageous to us being, you know, dead. So, let's get Badger. Badger needs to kick the door open. So, first of all, we need to clear that action. So, clear that. Um, okay. I haven't really done anything. Okay, right. So kick the door in. We want you to kick the door. In fact, do we want him to kick the door in from there? I think what we do is let's get Pimple to move up here. Move there. And Badger to move just there. Right, move out the way, both of you. Get out the way. Then Pimple can go forth and kick the door open. So we'll do that. We'll kick the door open. I right, said, so Pimple, just go and kick the door. Right, lovely. So the door is open. The door's actually vanished. He's kicked the door into oblivion. The door is just splintered into... Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> what was the door made of? It's some balsa wood or something. Right, okay. So then, we want to then have him look that way. And you look that way. And then we'll come down here and down here at the same time. And we should be able to take him on. Right, okay. So we've killed him. We've killed that guy. We now need to run... Kind of very quickly, looking this way, round this corner as quick as we can and get up here. Because this guy's got a machine gun and he's probably going to... There we go. Did we shoot it out of his hand? 
Did we just shoot that out of his hand? That is beautiful. There you go. Look, and look, only four seconds off the time to beat. That was very good. Oh, go us. So, um, okay, so we didn't actually rescue the hostage per se. We just killed all of the terrorists around him and then saved him by virtue of just you know, him not being dead. But that's fine. So another 2,000 XP. Okay, right. What mission shall we do now? So this is the Ashcroft residence. This looks like quite a good one to try. Let's have a go at this, shall we? So four certified, you know, definite tango. So four bad guys. Ter they're all terrorists. They're all terrorists. They're not just, you know, bad guys or criminals. No, they're all terrorists. So four actual known terrorists, possibly another couple of extras, uh, or they really like riddles or something. I don't know. Three hostages. This is quite big. This is quite a big property to go through. Okay, let's have a go at this, shall we? Uh, okay, fine. Oh my goodness me. We've got an awful lot of... Oh! Oh, hang on! <gasps> We've got multiple people! We Can we have all of them? Oh my goodness, we can have multiple people. Fish cake's in! Oh, fish cake is absolutely in. We can have lots of people. Right, fish cake up there. <gasps> we can put loads of people in. Right, gubbins, go to there. You have to put the maximum numbers of troops. Oh! Oh, I really wanted to have everybody at all the different points. I wanted to fill that up and just storm the place. Why can't I just go through with loads of people and just storm the place? Okay, never mind. So, Fishcake is up here. He's got a big shooty gun. He can probably take care of himself. These guys down here. Now, Pimple. Oh, yeah, I need to do all their armor, don't I? Because Pimple's probably not going to be wearing the best armor either. And Badger. Well, let's put Badger first. Let's move Badger to the front because Badger has the proper armor on. So that'll have to do. Or do I want to put someone through here and have a three kind of pronged approach? I think I might want to do that. Let's get Pimple over there. So you can all start at different locations. That's good. Okay. How do I get out of the deploy mode? Is that go? Okay, right. Uh, pause time for a second. Right, what do we do? Everybody go to... Oh, no, don't hold. That's silly. Uh, go to there and do your spy thing. You go to there and do a spy thing. And you... Now, do you have a spy thing? Yes, you do. So everybody go and do spy things. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Right. There's somebody there. Oh, there's two people over this side that it, we can see that are up near fish cake. Two baddies. One guy is in the kitchen making himself a cup of tea. Uh, and there's nobody over here. So there's nobody in this bit just here. So you, Pimple, should be okay to kick that door in. Hang on, get rid of that. Right, right click there. So if you kick that door in, that will, will that make a load of noise though? Will that distract them? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Now, I'm not going to go for time on this one. I'm not going to go for time because we'll me I'll mess it up. I'll brutally, terribly mess it up. However, you can also kick that door in because that's a plan. That's good. So you can both kick those doors in. So, bang. Right. Doors are in. Who's there? It's me, your friendly neighborhood policeman. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> that kind of thing. Right. So you look up and you come round here like that. And then kind of look over that direction. In the meantime, you need to look up like that and come round into here. And try and get into cover just there. Because that would be ideal. Right. Run into here. Right. Good. You've taken him. He's not dead. He's not dead. Badger is injured, however. But we should be okay. If you look that way and just poke back out, hopefully you can take him out. Bang, bang, bang. Right. Oh, there's someone coming around near Pimple. There's somebody coming in near Pimple. This is unexpected. Okay, right. Fish cake. You've got a big shooty gun. Absolutely, your time is now. Kick the door in. Kick the door in. Lovely. Uh, you. Oh, look. Oh, no. Right, Badger, you're badly injured. Badger... Get back into cover. Run into cover just here. Fish cake. Come round here. There was a guy up in that corner, wasn't there? I wonder if he's ran round here now. You go to there for now and just see what's going on. Right, you've gone into cover. Right, you should take him out. Oh, oh, there's a guy right in front of you. Okay, you'll shoot him. Oh, no. Fish cake's gone. Fish cake is down. Fish cake is down. I repeat, fish cake is down. Okay, that was unfortunate. There was a guy just here coming around the corner. That was very unfortunate. Okay, we've lost fish cake. It's fine. We've still got two people. I think fish cake will just regenerate in the next time. I don't know. I don't think fish cake is dead forever. I think he's just out for this mission. Okay, this is bad. Badger is really badly injured. P 
Pimple is fine. Pimple is absolutely fine. So let's get Badger to come right. Look up there all the time. So strafe looking that way and go to there. And you've got a bit of cover. That's lovely. Oh, right. Okay, right. We've killed that guy. We've killed one guy with a shot to the back of the head. Brutal. Where are the hostages? Are they all in here? Possibly all in there. Right, look up that way. Just nip around the corner. Go that way. Nobody there. Okay, look into here. Go up there. Okay. See if we can deal with anybody around this corner, if there's anybody there. Okay, there's a hostage. There is a hostage. The only thing in the rescue zone is here, so we need to clear out the baddies. Right, go round the corner. Is there a bad guy in this room? Yes, there is. Okay, one shotted him. He's gone. Oh, I feel a bit sorry for Fishcake. He's not taking part anymore. Fishcake's all out of action. So the guy was there. So can we face that way? Move to, say, here. Then grab us a flashbang. Lob a flashbang to, say, there. And then, once we've thrown the flashbang and it's gone flash, can we then look kind of up that way? And then run into here and look over there. That's quite complicated, but okay. He didn't throw the flashbang. Oh, did I just do something horribly wrong? I was expecting you to throw a flashbang there. This could end badly for Badger. Badger is quite badly injured and he's not in cover. Right, Badger, get into cover. Badger is gone. Badger is dead. Oh dear. Oh dear. This has not gone well. Okay, look that way. Come this way. Kick this door open. Absolutely kick the door open. Bosh. Right. Oh, yeah, you're down there, look. Okay, come back this way. Come back this way. Run back, run back, run back. We know they're down there. Okay, right. Lob a flashbang down there. Absolutely lob a flashbang. Wee. Right, and now... Now you've thrown a flashbang. When it goes off, bump. Face that way. Run down here and kill all the people. Kill the people. Shoot at them. Shoot at the people. Right, beautiful. Now get behind here. And hopefully you, because you're not injured at all, will have enough oomph to kill that guy. So yeah, look that way. And kill him. Shooty, 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 shooty. That was not the most efficient. A good job, well done. He took ages to do it and two thirds of our people were dead. Uh, okay, but we did eliminate the hostiles. We did eliminate them. Now in theory... We could have just rescued the hostages. I wonder where the third hostage was. It might have been in that bedroom. It might have been in the bedroom. So, uh, okay, do you know what? I'll take that. That's fine. We'll have that. We'll have a one star. It's fine. Let's continue and see what we want to do next. This level looks intriguing. Takedown on tarmac. Just looks like a long... It's like a sort of boat almost. Let's give that a go. That looks fun. Hostages must survive or be rescued. Eliminate all the terrorists. There's six bad guys and three hostages. I don't quite know what's going on with this. This could be fascinating, couldn't it? Okay, so let's have a look. We've got ourselves... Um, maybe it is a boat. I don't know. What, what what else would have that shape? It's got a pointy thing on it. So we're in a behind a, a, a fire engine. I think we're behind a fire engine. And there's some sort of building up here. We've had four people. Four people. Oh, yeah. So, Fishcake, Badger, Pimple, and Gubbins are absolutely on patrol. Um, okay, well, that's fine. We've got nowhere else to deploy them. So, yes, we'll go to the deploy mode. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, there are so many people. <laughs> so many people. Open fire. Have we got a sniper? We haven't got a sniper. No. One of the things in the uh, little sort of how to play bit is about a sniper. But I don't think we've got one. I don't think we have a sniper available. I'm not sure. Do we? Sniper target. Drag or press tab. We, we've got a sniper. Okay, that's jolly exciting. I don't really know how to work the snipers. Um, can we shoot? Where, well, where is the sniper? Does the sniper not appear? So the sniper isn't actually on the board, as it were, on the sort of the field of play. The sniper should be up in a building somewhere. So, okay. So, uh, sniper target. Drag or press tab. Ah, okay, right. So who do we want? Who do we want as the target? You've got a revolver. You've got an SMG thing, and you've got an SMG thing. You're facing the un unlucky hostage, however. <laughs> okay, so we'll do you. So target. Okay, right. You can only do four people. Okay, right. That makes sense. Now, how does the sniper work with everything else? I'm not entirely sure. I don't. Should we just see what happens? 
Shall we just do this? Open fire is just S. So should we do that? Okay, so that takes one person out. But now the hostage is red. Are they going to kill the hostage? So now does the sniper need to do that? So if we press S. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. So they're now going to shoot the hostage. Right you are. Okay. Restart that. We'll give that another go. All that's fine. Go. You take him out, Mr. Sniper Face. In the meantime, we will run round the corner all guns blazing. Let's point you that way and just leg it round the corner. So you're looking that way. Um, and then you, Badger, can run round the corner. I need to go and put the good armour on everybody. I must remember. You can come round this way too and stand here. Uh, you, hang on, after you've done that, can we then... Get what's that? Change between weapons. Ooh, exciting. Oh, uh, no, we don't want to throw a flashbang, do we? Because then everybody's going to get blinded, including us, which is probably not the best thing, is it, really? Again, they've all been eating pizza. I want pizza. I'm really hungry. Can I have some pizza, please? Right, Pimple, look that way. Run to here. And then Gubbins, uh, look. Hang on. No, not that. Look that way and run to there. Okay. And now if we do this, and then we press S for that. So we do that. Bang. The hostage just got killed again. Okay, hang on. View or save replay. Okay. Let's have a look at what happened. So pause that. They did that. Uh, oh my goodness me. Right. They just killed the hostage pretty much straight away. I wasn't even round the corner, look. Wow. Okay. Right. Restart that. Okay. Yes. Rock on. Target him. Target that guy. And we'll kill this guy as we come in. That's fine. We'll kill Nameless Thug. That guy's facing the other way. So that's not bad. He's looking at whatever that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> a box of trinkets. I don't know. Sniper can take him down. That's lovely. We'll come around and get Nameless Thug with his baldy head. We'll shoot Nameless Thug in his baldy head. Then hopefully that Nameless Thug by that point will be going, Oh, what's going on? And then this guy in the back, we might have to get someone specifically to target him however um okay can we then get you to look that way so let's see if this plays out any better right so s right do that have you shot him yet mr sniper shoot okay yes we've got three people down so two are dead from us one is dead from the sniper we then need to kill junkie harry over there right he's gone beautiful okay right that worked better so the man facing the hostage with the gun was probably the one we should have targeted first okay right they will all run into position just in case anyone comes through beautiful so we've got one hostage saved now do we want to get him to the rescue zone now how does this work if we click on oh no not on pimple uh if we drag you to him he does he have an action thing so order hostage hostage go Go down there. Right click. Okay, order. I don't know what order hostage does. Let's see what that does. Let's see what order hostage does. Come with me. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Right, sniper. Target him and uh, fire if you would be so kind. Oh, and he killed the hostage as he went around the corner. Okay, okay. Right, now we know what's going to go on though. So now we can restart. All that's going to be fine. We target that guy. <laughs> I like this. This is very good. We run around the corner. We tell the sniper guy to fire. Right. We we snipered too early. We sniper fired too early. Okay. Restart. Yes. Everyone go. Everyone come around the corner. Now we sniper. Uh, oh no! 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 They're targeting the wrong. They're targeting the wrong guy. They're targeting the wrong guy. The sniper should be targeting him. Like that. Now we run around the corner. We run around the corner. We appear and say, hello, we're the police. How are you? Fire the sniper. Beautiful. Right, they're all gone. They're all gone. He will be gone. Oh, look at that. That was like a beautiful precision strike. Okay, hostage, wait there. Do not worry. We will come to get you in a second. Me and Fishcake. I'm just going to go around here and have a look inside there. Right, so you guys go around the corner. Take whoever comes out round here. So they, we've now got a little bit of a line of sight and a bit of defence against that there. Pimple, go down here and tell the hostage to follow you. Gubbins, I don't imagine there's anybody else going to come from around here anywhere. It's an aeroplane! 
This is an aeroplane, everybody. It's not a boat. This is the aeroplane's wing. I wonder how many of you have been going, it's an aeroplane, you massive idiot. Hey, look, this is a plane. That's a cockpit. That's the pointy bit of the plane where, I don't know, the propeller goes or something. I've, I've no idea. These are the these are the seats in the plane. There's a wing. Yeah, I possibly should have realised that before. I thought it was just this bit. I thought it was a boat. What an idiot. Okay, gubbins can also go to just there. Okay. Right, so you can all do that. Beautiful. Right. They should be able to get this guy. So they're going to get him. Lovely. Right. And then it says, follow me. So Pimple, take him down to there. Take him back down. Let's just get him safe. So we've got one. Uh, do you have to actually be in the rescue? Though? Right. He is rescued. Thank you. He says, you can back up here. Absolutely. Not bothered about time. Not bothered about time on this one. I just want to get it done. Okay. There's a door there. There could be someone in the cockpit. But there's a door. A sliding door. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's move you. You can strafe and look that way. Go to just there. You can strafe and look that way. Go to just there. Right. Move forward a little tiny bit. This door worries me. If we go in here, all guns blazing, and someone pops out of here, that is going to be very bad. Uh, right. Fish cake. Look that way. And strafe your way across there. Gives us a bit of cover look, which is useful, I suppose. Um, I don't know if that gives us cover against anyone firing from that way. But let's see what happens. Let's see who's there. Right, there's some guys down there. There are some people down there. Right, these are like airline staff. They're like airline staff. Okay, we need to get in. Fishcake did not take any damage. We know there's two guys down there. So you need to come in to say, look that way. Run round here. Get him to cover. Then, if you could throw a flashbang, that would be great. And then, from throwing the flashbang, can you then move to, say, there. Like that. All whilst looking over that sort of direction. That would make sense. Are you going to do that, though? So, right, throw the flashbang over to there. Then run to just here. In the meantime, you... You can face, you can come in and just sort of look toward this door. I don't want anyone to come out of this door. So you can basically stand guard against this door just in case a baddie comes out and goes, oh, there's some people. Let's shoot them in the back. You've got gubbins in your face. So you've got gubbins all over your face. And you can come this way like this. So what are you going to do? Fishcake has got the big shooty gun. Surely Fishcake should also be joining in a bit of, uh, bit of the action there. Uh, Fishcake, run to here for the minute. Let's see if this pans out quite nicely. Right, one guy is dead already. Fishcake just took him down. Lovely. Right, are we going to throw the flashbang? And boom. Right, Fishcake. Also, look that way. Get over here as quick as you can. Let's take out that guy. There's one guy left. We know there is. He is down. <gasps> yes, we have saved the people on the boat plane. Yay. Okay, and only 34 seconds. The time to beat was 20. We're not that... I mean, okay, right, it's practically... It's almost double, but that's fine. We actually did the mission. Okay, good. Right, I'm happy with that. Have we gone up a level yet? Yes, yes, we have. We have gone up a level. Right, okay. So the logical thing to do would be to make sure that everybody has the Assaulter Vest on. I mean, I don't know why it just doesn't upgrade everybody automatically anyway. Why would you not want to have a better vest on for every single person in the team? So let's do all that. You can all have Assaulter Vests. We've got six stars remaining. You've been transformed into an assaulter. What about you, Badger? Can we upgrade your gun? Can we have a better gun? Yes, absolutely. The 1911 pistol is far better. It's far better at stopping power. It's more accurate. It's quicker to reload. So, um, yeah, we'll have one of those, please. Seeing as you're a sort of prime lead man with pistols, that will do the job just nicely. Okay. That's good. And we have a doctrine point. Okay, what do you want to go for now? So this is just for fish cake, really. Fish cake could have long range drills, improves long range accuracy and speed, or increased lethality. Lethality, wow, that's a good word that you don't see often, versus unaware targets. Yeah, mostly my plans make sure everyone knows we're coming because I'm just a bumbling idiot. So yeah, that's probably not the best. What's that? Requires two active abilities in this tree. Oh, okay, right. Uh, what's that? Using a close-to-body stance, troopers can manipulate and fire the handguns at hand-to-hand -hand distances. 
Oh, point blank shooting. Okay. Given that most people are going to have the short... Oh, do we want to do that, though? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Let's go to the roster. So we can have you as an assaulter, you as a point man. Why can't we have you as an assaulter as well? Make Gubbins an assaulter. Nick Clark is his real name. That's rather imaginative, isn't it? Gubbins is far better. I prefer Gubbins. So we'll change that out for an assaulter vest. So now your setup is quite good. So that's okay. So you can be an assaulter. And then you can be point man. You can be an assaulter. You can be a point man. Beautiful. Okay. So now we sort of know what's going on. We've got a couple of each. I've not been on any levels yet where you get more than four cops. So, doctrine-wise. So what have we got? What does that one give us? Aiming speed at close range. Could be useful. Faster handgun deployment. The troopers become adept at deploying the handgun after a hands-on evolution. What? And maneuvering it around obstacles. Don't really know what that means. Let's go for this. Aiming speed at close range. What does that do? Accuracy and recoiling cover. Yeah, it could be useful. Or aiming speed at close range. How close is close range? Let's go for the pistols at close range. Let's get that. Let's get that done. That's a nice point. People with pistols can shoot things better. I do like the fact that you can reset it if you want to sort of redo the tree. If you realise that you no longer use handguns and everybody's got long guns, you could reset it, I suppose, and get all these perks in here, which is quite nice. Right, what mission shall we do now? How about a spot of bomb defusal? We've killed some terrorists, that's fine. We've rescued hostages, that's fine. The last thing really we've got to do is bomb defusal. So let's do the bomb defusal training bit. There are six people. Six people. Disarm the bomb, eliminate all terrorists. Okay. I don't imagine this is going to be very easy given there's six people and there's a bomb. Okay, fine. Let's have a little go, shall we? Right. There is the bomb. 20 seconds? Good grief. Um, right, we might need to kick the door open. There's going to be people in here, isn't there? We haven't got time to spy under the door. That's the only thing I'm thinking. We haven't got time for people to be looking under and checking what's going on because that bomb's going to explode. So we need to get people in here now. So we need to get you kind of looking. I bet there's somebody up in that corner. So we'll get somebody there. You then kick the door open. Absolutely. So you go and do that. Kick the door open. Right, okay. He's dead. He's gone. That's nice. Is there anyone around this corner? In the meantime, you go and look up there. Just because there's a door there and someone might come through it. Uh, and you look around this corner. Right, is there anyone around? No. The bomb is on 16 seconds and we've only got through one door. I think someone's going to come through here. I think we're going to be looking at this door thinking there's a bomb. Oh my goodness. And people are going to come through this door. So, with that in mind, let's point that way both of you and let's just make sure we can stay alive because there's no point doing all this and trying to fuse a bomb if we've been shot in the face so we're gonna do that right oh no there's nobody up there okay well, this is all good learning for next time it's all good learning right can we kick that door open can we do that you move to here right go in kick the door oh oh right they're right in front of us that's probably dangerous. Right, okay. Beautiful. Both gone. Both dead. I mean, they all look the same. Maybe they should just not wear white vests and black trousers. That's what it is. I figured out what the problem with the criminals is. They all wear the same clothes. Maybe if we don't wear those clothes, you'll be a good person. Okay, we have 12 seconds to defuse a bomb and presumably kill lots of people in here. How many did it say there were? Six. Did it say there were six terrorists? I can't remember. I really can't remember how many it was. I'm not sure. I suspect it might have been six. We've taken out three. So there might be three people in here. Three people in here. And we haven't even got through the door yet. Oh dear. Okay. So let's move Badger down to here. Badger will have to kick open the door. Uh, Pimple needs to come down here. Right. So let's do that. Get that all sorted. Oh! He's just come through the door. I mean, that saves me having to open it. Right. Um, you lob a flashbang into here. There are going to be people in that room. I'm fairly certain. So if you can lob a flashbang around the... Oh, it's hit a guy literally standing right in front of the door. Boom. Okay. You come in that way. You come in that way. We go around the edge. Oh, it's, it's, it's a bit bright in there because of, you know, a flashbang and everything. Right. Six seconds. Oh my goodness. How are we going to do this? Right. You go to there and defuse the bomb 
you are going to have to take care of all the bad guys. So, Pimple, you're on it. Okay, he's running to it. Right, Pimple, you look up there and run here and cover Badger. Cover Badger and just see if anything happens. Okay, I don't want to go into that room. I'm not bothered. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. We were a fraction of a second away. Oh, no. Right, that's it. That's it. Even though this is the training mission for defusing a bomb, I'm not going to be defeated by the training mission. Um, okay, the start thing was fine. The start thing worked okay. I was happy with the start thing. We take him out. Lovely. Two seconds. We're down to 17 seconds. We've only just opened the door. Okay. Uh, right. Maybe going in that room was not the best course of action. We need to defend against those guys, but also get in this door really quickly. So, let's have you looking up that way. You come here. So they've got a bit of an angle. In the meantime, Badger, look that way. Come round to here. So let's do that. Let's see what happens with these guys. So are they going to come through the doors? They're not. Right, you just uh, uh, look just look that. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel that. I didn't want to do that. Cancel, cancel that action. Cancel that action as well. I've kind of gone mad with the, the thing there. Look. No, no, not move. How do I tell you to look that way? Cancel, cancel that. Just sort of, just look that way. Oh, it's that. It's right click without actually uh, holding control, which is a strafe thing. So you look that way. In the meantime, you kick that door open. So, bang. Right, they've opened that door themselves. Hopefully, Pimple will be able to take control of that just on his own. By virtue of just him just, just getting on with it and doing stuff. So in the meantime, Badger, you need to lob a flashbang into there if you can. If you can do that. Right, okay. So flashbang is going in. Somebody is going to come in here. Oh, and he's very badly injured. Right, come round this way. Take out these people. Oh, did that get Pimple? That might have got Pimple. Pimple might well be in trouble with that. Okay, now you come round the corner as well. You come round. Bang, 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 bang. Lots of shooters. Oh, they're both injured. They're both injured. This is bad. Right, you run in. And then look that way and run to here. In the meantime, you run to this and defuse that bomb if you can. Right, okay. Go, go, go. Defuse it quicker than that. Yes. 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 In your face, bomb. In your face. The entire location has been secured. 12 seconds. I assume you just ignore the guys in that top room. I'm going to assume. Okay. Right. Well, that's good. That's good. We completed a bomb mission. We're kind of doing lots of the different missions. Okay. What's next? The only little mission type that we've not actually done is this. So it's a hostage with a gun pointed at his head. Stop execution. How many people are there? Oh my goodness. Hostages must survive or be rescued. Eliminate all the terrorists in this fairly expansive looking building of the Solomon Islands Embassy. Um, okay. Stop execution. Do you know what? That's the last... I mean, it's the last type we've got to deal with. I just had a look down here. A few of these have got like proper massive numbers of people. Look at that. An execution with that many people. So we know there's five. We know there's ten, but there might be twenty. That's just crazy. That is a crazy amount of people. And I imagine you get more than two cops for that. Let's give our Solomon Islands one a go. Because then that's the last sort of mission types. We've done the skull kill everybody type missions. Though I do quite want to do that. Because that looks fun. There's loads and loads of people all in this one house. Which looks like quite a good fun mission. So yeah, we've got... Uh, we've got the that down we've killed all the people with the skulls we've defused a bomb we've rescued some hostages so this is the last one so yeah stop an execution let's give this a go so we've got ourselves one two three four five six seven known people potentially six unknown people and what's that seven hostages good grief okay let's give this a go what could possibly go wrong oh my word four i'm gonna get four cops Come on, give us more than that. Oh, it looks nice. And look, it's, it's marble floored. How lovely. Okay, yes. We do have a sniper. We do have a sniper. The sniper target is that guy in that room. Presumably because the sniper can see through the windows. Ah, the sniper is able to target anybody who's within these ranges. Okay, that's good. Four of the hostages are in the middle. We've got one hostage in there. This hostage will be executed soon. That's not very encouraging, is it? Okay, and we've got two guys here and two guys here. Okay, <laughs> my goodness. Okay, this this could go wrong, couldn't it? Uh, door. 
and a door there. Okay, right. Badger, can we do the thing? Can we do the spy camera thing? I mean, do we even have time to do the spy camera thing? How is this going to work? They've got... Oh, 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 right, okay. Right, you fire at him. Is that... Oh, that's another junkie Harry. That's probably not going to go well, is it? Yeah, so we're looking through the doors. We need the sniper to kill... Oh, and the hostage has been killed. Okay, we... We can't use the sniper until we're ready to go into that room and take out the other guy who's going to kill the hostage. We simply cannot do that. So we need to get over here. There was 40 seconds. So we need to get through this sort of... Through here, through the doors, through this door, up this corridor, into here and across there. Meanwhile, these guys might just have to take people out. Where are the rest of the hostages? Were there six? There were seven. There's four in there. That's a fifth. So we're going to need to take everybody out... Which is going to be quite hard. Oh my goodness me. This could this could be beyond our abilities. This could be beyond my skills. Okay, right. Deploy mode is done. Let's just go through here. Let's not do that. Let's just kick the door in. Because we do not have time. We simply don't have the time. So, uh, yeah. You go to there. And kick that door in. Meanwhile, you can look that way. And come round to here. And you can sort of look up that way. You look up, actually, look straight up and go to there. So let's see what happens. We're going to kick the door open. Right, okay. Uh, we've lost someone already. They've got a guy with a machine gun stood behind a bit of a barrier. Oh, dear. Right, this door is opening as well. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay, we're a man down already. They've killed someone. Good job. Well done. But yeah, these guys are the ones who wanted to survive. Hang on, right. Restart that. That did not work. <laughs> that was That was a terrible, terrible thing to happen. Okay, right, yes, go. Um, delete your actions, delete your actions, because for some reason, uh, yeah, why have you got, it looked like there were two lines there. So you need to do the door. Um, gubbins, in fact, right, no. Don't do the door just yet. Cancel, how do I cancel your action to actually do the door at all? I don't want you to do the door. Go over here instead. No, I can't cancel you doing a, opening a door now. So, okay, that's all just gone a bit weird, right? Remove that, cancel that, bin that, bin that waypoint, and then I want to bin that waypoint, but we can't seem to do it. Okay, never mind, right, we'll, we'll work around that. So, oh, hang on a minute, is it that waypoint? Can I, ah, right, okie dokie. Okay, pimple, look that way, go to there. Gubbins, look that way, go to there, and then kick the door in. Meanwhile, these guys are okay. They take out that person up there absolutely fine. So they're dead. Now, this guy isn't looking. So hopefully, we can get in here. Pimple, uh, you need to get that door down. You can start shooting at this guy, which is fine. 37 seconds left to save our poor hostage friend. Meanwhile, uh, now, if we kill you, though, so if we tell the sniper to fire, right, pause, He's going to be dead. He is dead. Fishcake is injured. Fish. Oh, they're both injured. How good a shot was that guy? They're round corners. Good grief. Okay, fine. Uh, right. You need to come in to here. You need to come in to here. These guys, is he dead yet? Is he nearly dead? Because we could do with him being really dead. Right, he's, he's really dead. Okay. Uh, he's gone. That target has gone out of view of the sniper. So now we need to turn sideways because somebody has come through that door. We need to walk around here. Somebody's there. So we need to take you out. You two guys can go. We've lost a man. We've lost a man. Okay, this is bad because I kind of wanted those guys to be the, the, the A squad that went in and saved our poor hostage friend. Okay, maybe we won't have time. Maybe we need to... There's someone there. There's someone there. Right, you guys run in here. Uh, you need to face downwards and downwards. So get round this corner. Get round this corner. Is there anyone down here? Yes. Right. One less person to deal with. You need to run round. So you need to look up. You need to run round this corner as quick as you can. Because there's somebody here. However, if we move time on a little bit. This guy, hopefully. Can we run in and kill him? Oh, this is this is hard. This is very hard. Right, you run in and kill him. Uh, can we do that? Can we do that at all? Oh, right, he's down already. He is down already. 
beautiful. Okay, so now you guys can come into here. Can we get into this room? Those two get into that room. Now the sniper has lost visibility of, of anybody in that room. That is a shame. Uh, okay, right. You need to run around the corner. You can kick the door open. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's all it's all going okay. You two look that way. Go round here. And you go round to here. So we can do that. You can walk around the corner. Right, you can kill him in the back. Lovely. Okay, well done, Gubbins. Gubbins, our, our sort of assaulter man as well. He's doing a good job with his gun. That was quite, that was quite a distance as well. That was quite the distance. Okay. Right, we've got 26 seconds left. Gubbins, go look that way, just in case there's anyone round that corridor, and then get to that door. Meanwhile, you go to you go to here, go to there, right click, wait for me to tell you what to do, and then kick the door in. Once I've told you to do it. You and then and then look. Uh, and then look. So that way. Meanwhile, you, fish cake, do the same sort of thing. Go to there, wait for A, then kick the door open, and then look kind of that way. So that should take those out. Okay, right, go. Is there anyone down there? No. You guys are arriving at the door. I like this. This is very good. Right. Go, go, go for, for A squad. Go. Alpha go. Oh, Alpha, yeah. Sorry, not A squad. Right, bang. They should be able to kill him. They should be able to kill him fairly easily, I would have thought. Oh, they're telling the host. Oh, the hostages are in the way. The hostages are in the way. Oh, no. Right, okay. Move the hostages out of the way. Get round the hostages. Go to there and then fire upon that man. Meanwhile, you need to kick that door in and then look that way. Hopefully, there's no one in there. Right, there is, but he's gone. There's a hostage. There's a guy behind us. There was a guy behind us. Okay. They're all good. They're all good. Now, do we have ourselves... Do we just have to keep this guy alive? Or do we have to rescue all the hostages? I'm not entirely sure of what we do with that. So can we get... You're, you're in. This is good. Where's our other assaulting person? Uh, oh, they're both injured. Oh, they're both injured. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Right, let's run you... You're near, actually. Let's get Badger to come in and give some support in here. Who's less injured? You're both really badly injured. Okay, right. Badger, go through here. Knock that door open. Then, uh, and then when you've done that, uh, get down here and come here and get in that room. In the meantime, you look that way. Oh, actually, no. No. Look. No, don't do that. Cancel, cancel that. Look that way. And go into here. There might be someone around that corner. Right, there's not. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is all fine. It's all fine. Do we need to go and fish cake? Might need to clear out some more terrorists. Do we want to go and check in the kitchen or whatever whilst we're here? So fish cake, go and look that way. Okay. Go and kick the door in. And you're looking that way. You're coming round. You then need to then look up, I think. And go to Welcome. there. So we'll do that. We've got not many seconds left. I want some support, though. I want some support for um, for our guy here, for fish cake. Can we see how injured they are? Is there an injury bar? No, just injured. I suppose there isn't necessarily a health bar, is there? So, yeah, they're, they're either orange is light injured and red is heavily injured, I would assume, is how this is going to work. So we know there's a guy there. So we could sniper him. But then, this guy is going to get killed. This guy is going to get executed. You've gone through that door, which is nice. Uh, you need to look down that way and head across to that door. Kick that door in and then look sort of just across there. That'll cover the whole of that kitchen area. Okay, right. right. We've got 13 seconds. How long are you going to take, Badger, to get over here? Let's move time on. Let's just get Badger in. Okay. There's somebody coming in here. There's somebody coming in. There's somebody coming in past the hostages. Fish cake. Turn back round. Get behind this cover. Can you get behind cover? Why can you not use the table as cover? That seems a bit weird. Bin that then. Uh, look that way. And then just go there. In the meantime, you're coming in to help, which is lovely. Right. They can see him. Hopefully he can take him out. He's telling the hostages to get down. He's telling the hostages to get down. We need you to move hostages. Move, you fools. 
Get round the corner. Can you get round the corner a bit more? Okay. You should be able to take him out, nameless thug. Okay, we've got these two over here. Gubbins. It's time for you to be... Oh, no, don't hold. That's a silly idea. Right. Kick the door open. We kick the door open. Who's kicking the door open? One of you. Uh, Badger, don't hold. We want you to then move in and round whilst looking in that direction. Uh, so we want to do that. We want the sniper to do that. No! <laughs> no! No! Okay, we've got to do all that again. That did not go well just there. That did not go well. Uh, however, which hostage got killed? Who who died? Who died? So we'll play the thing. Get to the end. Oh, it looks great when you do it all in normal speed. That's tremendous. Okay, so we'll go to here. So, all right, speed time on a little bit. Bop, 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 bop. Right, which hostage died? Was it this guy here? Or was it one of the hostages in that room? Did we actually get this guy in the central room? What happened there? Right, so he died. Oh, there's two guys in that room. Look, there's a nameless thug on this side and a nameless thug on that side. So I assume what happened was the... Yeah, look. The guys on either side took him down. Okay, right. Let's give that another go. Okay, I might be cutting it a bit fine here. This is where we are. This is our current situation. We've worked our way all the way through the level. However, two of our guys are dead. There was a sneaky terrorist just here. So I sort of went to this room looking that way thinking, ah, there's two guys up there. A guy down here took out one of our people and kind of one of our guys but got down here as well. There were two guys in this corridor who were both facing the same way. So when we were in the corner, they both went bang and shot him. So we've got two people left. They are ready to go through this door. However, there are two seconds left. Two seconds remain. That is it. So when we press this, we're going to kick the door open. Then we need to see what's going on. So we need to kick the door open. Right, now pause. This door's going to go open. We need to pause it. Okay, right. There are many things going on. You, you need to target him. You, target that person. You need to get around the corner, actually, and target that per Oh, the hostage is right in the way. The hostage is very much in the way. Okay, right, hang on. Clear that action. Clear that action, because that's just a silly action. Right, clear all these actions. What's going on with those? Right, Gubbins. Gubbins just needs to fire up there. In fact, yes, look that way. Gubbins can take you out. The sniper can take out that guy. And then you there, Badger, you just need to move the tiniest little bit there. And then aim up there and take out Nameless Thug. Okay, we've got about one second left. So let's take the sniper shot and see if this works. Bang! No! He killed the he killed the hostage. Ah, right, okay. Let's have another 38 seconds. Hang on, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Surely we we have two seconds left. It's 40 seconds. As soon as I kicked the door in, did they go right? Oh dear, that's bad. Okay, fine. Let's let's redo that again. Oh, it takes so long to do this level. Well, obviously it takes. 38 seconds, but it takes so long in actually pressing space and planning it all. Right, let's get back to that situation again. Oh, I am having a nightmare with this. I can get nowhere near completing this. The guys in this middle room now are suddenly killing this gaggle of hostages in the middle. And I simply cannot get round it. I simply cannot get round that. Do you know what? That's a very hard mission. That is a very hard mission indeed. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn, we lost a guy as well. We're coming into this room here. Look, the room on the right. We're going to take them out. Do you know what? I think you get the idea with it. I think you get the idea. It's very, very tricky, though. It, that, that's a good that's a good challenge. It's just really hard. <laughs> I just don't know how best to do it. We still haven't quite leveled up. We haven't got another doctrine point. But do you know what? You get the idea with door cookers. Even though I failed miserably at the end there, I've spent quite a long time doing that. I can't really spend much more. I've got to go and do other actual real life things, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. That's door kickers. Though. That's good. I like door kickers. That is very, very good. If very, very challenging indeed. It's very hard. But I do like it. That was very enjoyable. Hopefully you did enjoy it too. If you did, 
please do leave a like and also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we play in the Geek Cupboard. Stuff a bit like this. Thursdays at the minute in the Geek Cupboard are kind of a free game day unless there's something you know, really big going on and I want to stick an extra video in for something that's you know proving to be very very big or successful or whatever. But Thursdays are a kind of random game day a bit like this so expect other sort of little one-off videos for games like this on Thursdays. So yeah subscribe to keep up to date with all the stuff that we do like that. But for now thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The soil moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>